We all have that flaky friend. You have that flaky friend who claims they're going to come to the party and then they just never oh come to the party. God. Wait, raise of hands. Who does have that flaky friend? Oh. God, yeah. raise of hands. Are you at times that flaky friend? Uh, yeah, okay. Not only the people I'm not that close with and I try and then I don't make it. So we've all been there, no judgments, but I do know those people who like, every time you send an invite, you're like, they're never showing. They're not, they're saying, but, they, but they're not gonna show up. Well, yeah. now a style, stylist reports, there's another type of friend to watch out for, the can't stay for long friend. Do you know them? That <laughs> the can't stay for long friend is that friend who's, who does show up, but they sit down to dinner and immediately start talking about where they have to go next. They, and they, they say they can only stay for like a drink or an hour and then they just have to go. Um, some say it's rough being friends with these people because after a while it feels like there's like, they're rejecting you. I think I'm this friend. <laughs> Because I do, I do find myself saying, whenever people say like, oh, do you want to go to dinner? I'm like, it's got to be like 5.45 or 6 or I'm like out, you no, know? I, that, I think that's exempt from this category. Because I'm it? like that too. Early bird special. I now have two kids, a full-time job, and I'm really tired and I got to get to bed early. But I have met people who tell me that they've got to go when they get there. And I agree with this article. It does feel like a mini rejection. Does it really? Because this is how I see it. Okay, I've got a train to take home. I gotta work in the morning. So no, I can't sit with you at dinner till 10, but I can pop by for a drink and then bye-bye. I think there's actually, I'm not rejecting you. I'm trying to do what I can to meet you in the middle. All right, show of hands, how many people think it makes you feel a little cagey and weird when someone says they gotta go right when they start the event? Show of hands, who thinks this is a prudent way to live? You can get more done. I'm good with it. Well, it looks like there's something for everybody. Yeah, we found our happy little middle, as you call a it. A pretty little middle. That's it, yeah. My favorite. Mm -hmm. I want to live there. Mm -hmm. um, all right, <laughs> finally, uh, some good news if you love a good cruise. Oh, my gosh. You know how much I love go going on a cruise? I do, too. And, like, I want the cruise industry to be thriving, and they've been hit so hard with they the have. pandemic. But I was so excited to bring this story to the news desk because it turns out that CNN reports the CDC has fully lifted its COVID advisory on cruises. That's oh, right, baby. On. The cruise industry is back, baby. Yes, please. I love it. Do you want to know one thing I really love about cruises? Besides the fact that it's a, literally a floating buffet, which is everything I want. <laughs> what? It, well, it's great for families. It's yeah. great for singles. There's theme cruises. Uh huh. So, like, if you're a Turner Classics movie or you want to do the Love Boat theme or you want to, like, do a booze cruise to Mexico, like, they've got it all. You can go to Scandinavia. I think a lot of people get intimidated with planning. Where do I go? How do I stay? How do I build the itinerary? Can I afford this? It's jarring to travel. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they just button everything up. They you get do. on, you get off, you see, you look, we've got your back, we take care of all of it. And that. every morning you wake up and open the windows like, where am I now? It's so fun. This is so awesome. Well, to celebrate, we've got something really special. Nothing says fancy cruise like finding a towel in the swan shape right <laughs> in your room. And today yes. we're gonna make them because a TikToker named the folding lady who totally is going viral right now just revealed how to do it step by step. Okay. Okay, let's Ta try it. Uh, some people are intimidated by travel. I'm intimidated by trying to make a towel swan. I, I didn't even know this was a thing until I went on a cruise and I walked in the room and I was like, what is that? There's a towel swan on my bed. Okay, so I was watching her. Okay, I, do you think you know how to do it? Because I'm scared right now. I'm, I'm like 100% with... sure I don't know how to make it. I just right. watched her do it. And see, she pinches the corner and then it's a... Look, it's like a tight roll, like. Wait, from the corner? Corner. Oh, okay. You see what I'm doing? Just, you gotta hold the middle, I think, and then just roll tight all Okay, the way. so like when you get to the midpoint, start rolling the other side. I think so. And then, look. Stay. Oh. Wait. Now what do I do? And you get it all the way, you twist it all the way in. My, my swan looks like it is so drunk. Just look, look, Ugh. Wait, okay, now I Now you lift it up, and it's supposed to be tight enough that it sort of stays, but I don't think hard it is. <laughs> you, but you kind of get the idea, right? Nope. You, you've heard of, um, you've heard of Swan Lake? Well, this is Swan-like. <laughs>
<laughs> what does mine look like? Um, Can I see a shot of it? Oh, you know, actually. It's not terrible. It looks more like a snake. Yeah. Um, that's like gonna hiss at you, but uh-huh. I have surprised myself. I, what's, what's yours look like? Well, mine looks pretty good and I yours, think- I, with, like I'm, a, not, I'm not trying to be rude, Rossi, but I think mine looks more like a swan than yours. <laughs> Dear, it's time to get your eyes checked, all right? But mine, mine, mine looks like a duck. Oh my God, I'm holding the wrong one. I'm looking at yours. <laughs> I'm holding. You were looking at mine thinking it was yours? No, this is me. That's you. Oh my God. I was like, mine's so much better than yours, Rossi. Oh my God, I'm having the moment like in a workout class when you're in the mirror and you're like, damn, I look good. And you're like, that's not me, that's her. <laughs> Shoot, okay, mine sucks. Yours is amazing. Oh, no. I, I understand now. I did have my eyes checked, Rossi, and yours is better. Oh, good for you. Oh my gosh. Um, yours well, wasn't all it was quacked up to be. <laughs> 